survival is your responsibility. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus, also known as the Chi 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 Virus, and we are back at it again with more Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Uh, knife only, no practice, unrehearsed, never done it before in my life, never attempted this style of playthrough with just this weapon right here in Leon's hand. Never ever ever. In the last episode we made it to I don't know what his name is, the G2 transformation of William Birkin. Another boss fight basically. And uh, we got our asses kicked, but he seems like he's beatable, so we're going to go ahead and give him our third try right here. Basically, this episode is just going to be me attempting to kill this bastard. If I make it past him in a couple of attempts, then we'll definitely be able to make even more progress than that. But I'm almost certain this will take me the full length of the episode to get, to get him beat. The last time I died last episode was basically just because I didn't heal myself fast enough and ended up getting getting slashed open by uh, Mr. Birkin here. Birkin looks like some type of weird mutated bird <laughs> with several arms. Like Goro mixed with a mutated bird mixed with, I don't know, it's just weird. Can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it. Creepy, creepy shit. All right, Leon, you ready for this? Let's give it a shot. Round fres. I'm thinking I might just have to finesse this guy. Just, 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 just coming out swinging isn't gonna get the job done. Maybe I should even run away from him sometimes, great distance. I don't know, I just, I just have this impatient feeling about this playthrough right now. I just want to rush and get it done, which is probably not the best thing. It's probably going to end up screwing me over. It's going to probably force me to take my time at some point, because when we get to the end parts, I'm going to be fucked over. Good shit. Okay, it looks like the finessing isn't going to be too difficult. I kind of remember this from my attempts against him on Claire's scenario. This is pretty much fuck what you had to do. Ugh, I don't know how he got me there. Oh, how is he hitting me? <laughs> this is bullshit. See, we're just impatient. We just need to settle for one hit and then keep it moving or else we're gonna get fucked up. What is he, like, almost dead? That's why he goes for that? What do I do here? Just stay away from him? Shit. Congratulations, you, you fucked me up. Oi. Good lord. Oh, there goes all my health. Fucking me up, man. Get up! One more hit. Nope. Damn. Now he takes a lot of pokes. Oh. Uh, yeah, he totally like lopped my head off. He threw me in the air and then like wiped wi wiped my head off my shoulders. Wonderful. Wonderful fate. What a way to be taken out of this world, huh? All right. Well. It looks like I'm going to actually have to try and put some serious effort in. After just... This is the same session where I just got off got off of beating the alligator. 
hours fighting that alligator. I just don't have it in me to sit here and try to try hard against Birkin here. I just want to put my head down and just swipe and swipe and swipe. Swipe and heal. Swipe and heal. And it looks like I'm going to actually have to strategize because, you know, he seems pretty dodgeable. I have experience fighting him thanks to Claire. It took a second for it to come back to me though, but... I guess if we can keep that up, just go for the one slash on him. Instead of going for two, trying to be greedy got me hit a couple times. So if I just be patient, unfortunately. I'm tired though. I don't want to be patient. This guy's definitely easier than the alligator. After we take him out though, there won't be another boss fight for a good long time. And that one, I'm really nervous about. I'm not even sure how that one works. I think if, I don't know. I don't even think I have to fight. I think if I just avoid that boss, that boss, I think that'll pretty much end up in me winning. If I just avoid him, I don't think I have to damage him out before I get the item that will basically put him away. But I'm not sure. Uh, you have a man's face on your chest. On your left peck, you have someone's face just there. That is just... Oh, come on! Ugh. Oh, there is some heartbreaking shit going on here. I should not be getting hit, man. Ugh. Yeah, fuck those calves up, man. Yeah, Achilles, get that Achilles. Get that Achilles. That tendon. Keep hitting that tendon. That's fucking him up. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get nailed there. Ah! Couldn't see myself. Ah! Damn it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I think I'm just running to the wrong side and running to the wrong arm. I don't even know. Come on, Leon. What? Auto aim totally shit on me right there. You guys saw? You guys saw that? Auto aim shits on me again. Am I just out of range? Now he's trying to kill me. Will he just stop with that or what? How does that work? He's just gonna constantly have that up? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna definitely get killed here. Or get nailed. Damn, he, he immediately goes for it too. Oh boy. Okay, he's done with it now. Nope, he's back at it. Oh, he missed. Good, good. Ah! He will not die. He's tough. <sighs> Looks like I just need more health. Yep. Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, 
He takes a lot of hits. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's just how it is right here. A lot of the enemies are just stronger. Their hit points are off the charts. Much more than they were in the A scenario. As much as I love the B scenario more, the A scenario is easier. At least if you're trying to do just the knife, it's easier. I guess all the way around it's easier because it takes more bullets to kill them too if you're using guns. Very discouraging. All right, here we go. Let's give ourselves a bit more health. Just one extra healing item. Ugh, I use all my fucking healing items. <gasps> this is some sad shit. Oh, this is this is hurting my heart. Oh, it's hurting my heart. But I gotta do what I gotta do, right? I don't know. I just, I, I mean, maybe I just have to play better. But once he raises his hands, man. Once again, we're back in this train. Once again, we have to see Ada get skewered. Ugh. Ada. Ada. Get, get diced across the boobies. Come on, snap out of it. Alright, Leon, I have a feeling this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the victory that we need. I just need to circle the guy. Just keep circling him until he misses and then give it to him. Great abs you got there, though. Fantastic abs. He's got a washboard stomach. He's got like eight pack. Damn, calves are calves are amazing. Has an eight pack. Look at those calves, though. Oh fuck you! That auto aim just sh fucking spit in my face right now. Fuck, man. That auto aim keeps fucking with me. <sighs> Thank you, auto aim. Auto aim is pissing me off. Thank you for that one. All right, this is very doable. We have so much health left, it's crazy. Oh, what? What? That's garbage. That's bullshit. Oh, come on. Oh, auto aim, you fucking suck. Ah. I know I don't have a gun on me, but still. Gotta somehow get him to go for the attack, but miss. So he puts his damn hands down. Shit, I don't know 
Aha, I'm gonna do that. End up getting nailed. Good shit. Ah! <laughs> Go ahead, jump around. Let's, 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 let's reset. Drop the ball. Can't believe this shit. Come on, let's get him to do it again, but run away. Okay, okay, so we can definitely dodge that when he goes for that shit. We just gotta get back into the groove of... <sighs> Man, I keep... How is he hitting me? How? It's because I'm too slow. Can't dodge the way you want to when you're hurt and the auto aim keeps fucking with me. Got him. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. In danger. In danger, no healing items left. We put him down. Well, I don't know. There is a silver, a, a silver lining to that. Because, uh... If we do get stuck later on, all we gotta do is just come back to this save and try to beat that guy much better. Because uh, I think with just more attempts and more practice, we can probably come away from this fight with a couple of healing items still intact. So I'm thinking that's what I'll do if things kind of go... Kind of go south later on. But oh my goodness. I need to find a safe point. <laughs> uh, that was an epic win. I told you if I beat him, it's going to be towards the end of the playthrough. Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? 
I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Uh, early error. Leon. It's funny hearing him. He sounds so dorky in the early RE2 sometimes. Still love him though. Don't get the wrong idea. Oh, I gotta limp and hobble my ass to a save point immediately. Look at this shit. Oh, poor Leon. That, that, that guy took a lot of knife hits. That's ridiculous. I cannot believe that shit. It's, he definitely took more than the alligator did. The alligator, the alligator, I believe, took 33. He had to have taken like 10 more. At least it felt that way. If you guys were counting, please let me know. Because Lord knows I'm not going to go back and count that shit. Yeah, with your injuries, you being in danger, that fall should have probably killed you, Leon. Now, either Ada found a way to reactivate the machine, she rebooted or reset it or something, and, you know, she's on the move, because she's, you know, a double agent and shit like that. Or the power just came back. I think Ada has something to do with that, though. Which? Am I supposed to go this way? I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. I know there is a typewriter up coming up, but I don't know if they necessarily give you an item box. I think they do. It's up here. All right, guys. I'm fucked up. Oh, they give me an herb, at least. A little consolation prize for taking down Birkin. Damn, he really had me on edge. There was one hit he gave me before we croaked that I thought for sure was going to kill me, but it didn't. Alright, I'm not going to heal myself. I should probably just heal myself. No, I think there's a red herb down here. I could probably mix that together and heal myself. I'll, I'll worry about healing and all that good shit some other time. But for now, that's going to do it. This episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2 and Life Only, guys. I am very tired. If you cannot tell from my voice, I am exhausted. Keep in mind, this was a long session of video gaming, of knife only playing, because I had to figure out how to beat. No, oh, there is no red herb down there. I had to figure out how to beat the alligator off camera, and that was stressful and tiresome. I don't know why I thought there was a red herb down there. And then, you know, I ended up figuring out how to beat Birkin. So, you know, I definitely deserve a rest. I definitely deserve a like. These last three videos were all in one day. Plus my hours of efforts trying to beat the alligator. Give me some love. Well, yeah, if you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2 with a knife. This is the game virus. Thank you for watching. Later.